Hey there! We've just finished our first module. This time, we will be focusing on the second module about separating mixtures. Why do we need to separate mixtures? And what are the ways in separating them? Let's find out how and why. In today's video, we will discover the importance of separating mixtures and how we can separate them through a process known as evaporation. Are you ready? Let's begin! Jelka is cooking adobo for dinner. She was about to add salt on her dish when her brother, Nathan, accidentally added some water to the salt. What will she do? She put the salt water solution in a pot. Turn the heat on and let the mixture set into a boil. The smoke from the mixture is the water turned into a gas. After a few minutes, the water disappeared, leaving only the salt crystals in the pot. The white residues are the salt crystals. Can you see them? Turn the heat off and then let's see. This is now the salt. What happened to the water? Did it really disappear? The water in the mixture did not disappear. It became a gas called water vapor. In the next experiment, I want to show to you another proof of evaporation taking place. Let's watch the experiment. We used salt water solution, but this time we added a water-based blue food color. As you can see, after a few minutes, the blue food color is now visible in the tissue paper. The blue color is the evidence of water vapor passing through the tissue paper. In the previous experiment, we did not see a blue color since we did not put any food coloring in it. So this is what it looks like if we did not cover it with the tissue paper. The water is slowly disappearing, leaving only blue salt crystals. To sum it up, evaporation happens when a liquid substance turns into a gas. The water, which has disappeared based in the experiments, did not really disappear. Instead, it evaporated into a gas called water vapor. Evaporation only occurs when heat is applied like when we dry our clothes under the heat of the sun. Did you know? In most cases, the drying of puddles, ponds, or even lakes is a proof of evaporation taking place. Alright, so what did we learn today? We learned about how we can separate mixtures through evaporation. Next time, we will be learning another process of separating mixtures. See you again! Bye-bye! I will be happy to hear something from you. Subscribe to our channel for more learning videos and leave your comments.